It is your boy Jake Goble back at it again for Orange Cactus Coffee doing another Angel's Cup tasting flight on the nose. I've got, I don't know what I got. I got coffee. I got ground coffee. It was ground in the Barazza. I'm doing this back there. Water's already hot. So I got to get going. Last time I tried to go 16 so I could do each tasting flight twice. I'm not doing that no more. I think it's dumb. I did 20. We're going to do the 2300. That's what I'm comfortable with. That's what I like. That's what we are going to do. I'm going to get this bloom going here and I'm going to try and see what I got on the nose. I actually did pick up a lot of chocolate and I thought I'm going to go for the three to one ratio for the bloom. So that means 60 grams of water here. And I'm going to go for uh, 30 seconds. I also forgot the spoon. So I'm giving it a little swirl down, I'm giving it a little swirl down instead of digging it out the ex excavation excavating it i'm giving it a little swirl to get it and that's all right it's it almost there's a little bit of a chemically chemical chemical i don't know what it is almost like a i don't want to sound i don't want to be mean to the roaster but on the nose it was like a burnt rubber type of smell but there was some some chocolate there but it was like molasses maybe maybe that's what i'm Maybe that's actually what I'm looking for. I'm looking for molasses. All right, I'm gonna go two pours, I think. And then I'm gonna, since I don't have a spoon, no, I do have a spoon, look at that, it was right there. I'm gonna get that little bit of a scrape going around the top, because we don't want any, I like to say, uh, get all the kids in the pool. Get all the kids in the pool. That's what I like to say. I know Scott Rayo says you want to avoid high and dry grounds. I guess that's a better way to say it. If you are into coffee and if you're into fancy coffee, maybe that lingo is better. Get all the kids in the pool. Get all the wallflowers off the wall and onto the dance floor. So I'm at just under two minutes. I've got 200 grams of uh, water right now. I'm going to get that last little hundred. We're going to go 300, which is a little difficult for me because I've been doing iced coffee so much lately. This is the first hot coffee that I've had uh, since the last time we made a video, I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, since the last time we made a video. So it's been a few weeks. But it is 300, just over two minutes. We've got no high and dry grounds, but I wonder if I agitated it a little too much. I don't think we're going to get a drawdown in 50 seconds here with this. I don't know, but I do have a little bit of a swirling vortex of awesome. I like to play with it too much. It's one of my flaws. And so if you play with it too much, you irritate it too much, agitate it too much, you start getting fines in the filter, and then it's a slower drip down. Sometimes that can lead to a little more of a bitter cup. Ah, that is a little bit of seltzer water. I think it's club soda though. It tastes like there's a little sodium in there. That means good. The taste buds are on point. It is a slow draw down here. This is going to be boring. This is not good. Not good for me. Not good for the video. I, I played with it too much. Dad always told me not to, but here we are playing with it too much. And that is a way slow drawdown. We are already past three minutes. We're right on 300 though. I mean, I got to say, if you were going to nail something, it would be how much water you put in. But lately I've been doing this iced coffee recipe. I'll stall while it's uh, drawing down. I've been doing 100 grams of ice in the Hario brew vessel here, this little guy. And then I've been doing 20 grams of coffee, 200 grams of water, letting that uh, draw down. I've been doing multiple pours, a lot of activity, a lot of action, a lot of swirling. That's not a bad bed though. It is flat. It's a great bed. It's a great bed. It's a little long. We're at 345, 346. That's kind of where we're at. I'm going to take it, take it off. This is the Hario V60. This is a Hario brew vessel. And these are Tim Wendelbow's Fiji, Fiji, Figio, Figio. I don't know how to say it because it's Swedish, Norwegian. I can't, even, he's in Oslo, Norway, Norway. It's Norwegian. So that's, that's the challenge. And I'm going to let, a, let that coffee cool just a little bit. I'm going to try it hot right now to see if I can get some of these flavor notes. I've got the coffee taster flavor wheel from the SCA. 
Specialty Coffee Association, and I am ready to go. I'm going to start with the Tulip. This is the Tulip Cup. Now, it was a light roast. It is a light roast, but there's something on the nose that just doesn't, that's unpleasant. It's not quite right. I don't know if it's, maybe it's me drinking too much espresso in life and in general, and I'm not getting it, but something not quite pleasant. Maybe it's just too hot. See it as it cools. I want to say red grape now. I want to say red grape. That's what I'm getting from the tulip. This is the split. It was just a little too hot because that's tasting a lot better. I'm liking it out of the split the most so far. There's a fruitiness, but it's almost like a woody. It's like a woodiness. Dried fruit, other fruit, raisin. I'm going to go... A little bit of raisin, grape, where is grape? Grape's not even on here. Grape is not even on here. They want you to go down to wine. Maybe it's whiny. I would like to say red grape, but I don't see red grape on here. I'm gonna still say red grape. I'm gonna say maybe a little bit of raisin, a little bit of Merlot maybe, a little bit of whiny flavor. All right, try it again. Now, this is the hard part. Where is it from? What is the country of origin? Normally, I want to guess Africa. I just dropped it. That was smooth. Normally, I want to guess Africa when I get some of these flavors, but then it ends up being like some honey processed coffee from Ecuador or something. So that's what I'm going to go with. My gut tells me stay in Africa, but I'm not. I'm going to come back to South America, and I'm going to say it was like a honey process of some sort, and it's going to be from Ecuador. Here we go. It is Cerrado. It is from Brazil. Almond and walnut. Wow. Wow. That is a fail. That is a big-time fail. Let's cleanse that palate off and see if we can get any walnut and almond. I got almonds right here, and I got to tell you, I know, it's going too long. I'm not getting any almond. Well, there you have it. It is from Brazil, Cerrado, almond and walnut. And I failed it. You win this one, Angel's Cup. You win this one.